How to use an AED, saving lives simplified. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel where learning English is both easy and fun. Today, we're diving into a very important phrase that could help you save a life one day. Use an AED. Stick around to understand what this means and how you can explain this life-saving process in English. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced learner, knowing these terms could be crucial in an emergency. So, let's get started. An AED, or Automated External Defibrillator, is a portable device that checks the heart rhythm and can send an electric shock to the heart to try to restore a normal rhythm. When someone says, use an AED, they're referring to the process of operating this device in a situation where someone may be having a sudden cardiac arrest. Understanding when to use an AED is vital. Cardiac arrest is different from a heart attack and it happens when the heart unexpectedly stops beating. If you see someone suddenly collapse, are unresponsive, and not breathing normally, these could be signs that an AED is needed. Remember, before using an AED, always call for emergency medical help. Let's walk through the basic steps to use an AED. 1. Turn on the AED. This is usually done by pressing a button. 2. Expose the person's chest. Make sure the chest is dry and free from any metal. 3. Attach the AED pads, place them as indicated in the device's instructions. 4. Stand clear and analyze. The AED will check the heart's rhythm. Ensure no one is touching the person. 5. Deliver the shock. If advised by the AED, press the button to shock. Again, make sure no one is touching the person. 6. Perform CPR if necessary. Continue as the AED instructs until emergency help arrives. Here are some important points to keep in mind. Never use an AED on a wet surface or near flammable materials. Jewelry and metal should be removed from the person's chest before using the AED. Hair on the chest can interfere with the pad's ability to stick, so it may need to be removed quickly. For English language learners, knowing related phrases can be helpful. Here are a few. Fetch the AED, please. Is there an AED nearby? I am trained to use an AED. Stand back. I'm going to shock him, her. We hope this video has been informative and has equipped you with the English terms and phrases needed to understand and explain how to use an AED. Remember, in emergencies, quick action and clear communication can save lives. We wish you never have to use this knowledge, but it's always better to be prepared. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Stay safe and keep learning!